You'll recognize him thanks to his famous self-portraits. The rest of his paintings are equally as popular, even though he wasn't a celebrated artist during his lifetime. But he's probably most famous for the fact that, at one point, he began to dislike his left ear. And things got out of hand. Let's look at some of the most fascinating facts about Vincent van Gogh, the man behind some of the most impressive paintings in history. Van Gogh actually started painting when he was 27 years old, which is pretty old in comparison to some prodigy artists. He also taught himself how to use a paintbrush. His first paintings were not as bright and colorful as the ones most people remember. When he first started his artistic work, he used a limited range of colors and painted some of the most difficult parts of life. Many of his early paintings showed people struggling with poverty. Despite being an artist for a short period of time, Van Gogh was a very busy man. He only painted for about 10 years, but during that time, he created a staggering 2,100 artworks, 860 of which were oil paintings. Some art historians have even estimated that he must have created a new piece of artwork once every 36 hours. To top it all off, many of these pieces were art made in the last two years of his life. Despite enduring problems with his health and serious financial hardship, Van Gogh really gave it all for his art. Van Gogh painted light differently than artists before him. He made it look like the sky was moving. For example, the sun shining on the water or twinkling stars in the night sky. When you look at these paintings, the light seems to flicker and move. That's because your brain not only spots different colors, but also sees them blending together. It tricks you into seeing different shades of light. One of Van Gogh's most famous paintings is called The Starry Night. As the name implies, it depicts a full sky full of stars. The painting also shows a village with houses and trees lit up by stars. This artwork is celebrated for its vibrant colors and the way Van Gogh captured the feeling of being out in the countryside at night. But was this painting original? Some other artists seem to think Van Gogh actually drew inspiration from another famous artwork. Its name is The Whirlpool Galaxy by William Parsons. And if you compare the two images, you'll clearly see some similarities. It's not the only fascinating fact about this painting. Some art historians believe that Vincent van Gogh's painting, Starry Night, showed that he also was an amateur astronomer. The artist was interested in the stars above his head when he was painting his famous work in a mental facility in France. Now, if we were to compare an actual picture of the starry night and the painting itself, we would be amazed by the precision of this artist. The moon in the painting is where it would have been if Van Gogh had painted the picture at around 4 a.m. And the bright object to the right of the cypress tree is where Venus would have been. The constellation Aries is at the top of the painting. Some specialists believe that the swirling part in the middle of the painting is a comet that Van Gogh imagined, not something he actually saw. They also gathered some pages from a magazine that Van Gogh read that had pictures of comets that looked like the swirling part in the painting. Years later, scientists used the Hubble telescope to look at a cloud swirling around a star, and it reminded them of Van Gogh's starry night. How could Van Gogh know how to depict such a precise image of space back in the day without using modern technologies? Well, little did they know that his painting would actually be very helpful in solving this mystery they decided to study the artist's paintings more closely and were astonished. Van Gogh's art looks as if it were painted using a pretty modern telescope, though there's obviously no chance of that ever happening. He was able to accurately depict what fluids looked like in space without having any knowledge of modern physics and astronomy. Other specialists were interested in studying Van Gogh's paintings because of the swirling patterns in them. They believe they look like a spiral galaxy, which people first discovered some 40 years before Van Gogh painted most of his pieces. These specialists were then set to find out if Van Gogh had known about spiral galaxies, but they couldn't find any proof. However, their best guess was that Van Gogh had known about the phenomenon 
and try to include it in his art. Many people have heard the story of Vincent van Gogh, well, getting rid of his own left ear. While it's true that he did cause himself some pain, the reason why he did that is still up for debate. Some people say he got into an argument with his friend Paul Gauguin, another famous painter, which led him to this unfortunate decision. But others think that Gauguin himself was the one that caused Van Gogh's harm during a fight. We don't know for sure what happened, but it seems likely that Van Gogh only damaged part of his earlobe, not the whole ear. Van Gogh painted 43 self-portraits over a period of three years because he couldn't afford to hire models and didn't have many other people to paint. In these self-portraits, he often looks unkempt and has such features as sunken eyes, a weak jaw, and missing teeth. Some of the self-portraits were even painted while he still had fresh bandages on his ear after injuring it. To save money, Van Gogh also painted over his old pictures instead of buying new canvases. You can't help but wonder what else might be hidden under those hundreds of paintings he made. The celebrated painter also wrote a lot of letters. He wrote about 600 just to his brother Theo. These letters tell us about Van Gogh's thoughts and his views on life and art. Theo kept all of the letters from his brother, but Van Gogh had just a few from Theo. After they both had passed away, Johanna, Theo's wife, collected and edited the letters. They were published in 1914. Van Gogh also wrote to other people, like his friend Paul Gauguin and Emile Bernard. These letters are a good way to learn about his life and understand his views of the world. Many of Vincent van Gogh's paintings were lost because people who had them thought they were not worth keeping. It is said that even his own mother threw away some of his paintings. After his passing, most of van Gogh's paintings went to his brother Theo. Sadly, he too passed away just a half a year after his brother. Thankfully, Theo's wife, Johanna, inherited the paintings. She is credited for showing these pieces to the world. Johanna and Theo had been married for a short time before she became a widow in 1891. She had to take care of herself and her young son on her own. She also had to figure out what to do with all the paintings that Theo had left her. Theo wanted people to know about his brother's work, and Johanna wanted to honor her husband's memory by making this happen. To do this, she moved to Bussum in the Netherlands, where she started a guest house. There, she met many writers and artists who helped her learn more about the world of art. In 1905, Van Gogh's sister-in-law organized a big exposition of the painter's art at a museum in Amsterdam. Over 480 pieces were shown. After the show, the value of Vincent's art increased quickly. A painting called Portrait of Dr. Cachet was sold for more money than any other Van Gogh painting. This happened back in 1990 at an auction house, and the price was $83 million. This was the highest amount of money ever paid for a painting. If you adjust for inflation, it would be worth about $180 million now. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.